Good morning, y'all. Big shout out to Doug Nice who pointed out on the video where I show how the Renaissance does work with the uh, 2.0 beta software that the video cut off before I showed any functionality. Uh, but that was actually because my phone ran out of memory. So I'm going to fly through this so that doesn't happen again, even though I deleted some stuff. But here we go. I'm going to turn on MPC. 2.0 software starts and it is beautiful to look at all right i'm going to start over here on the right you can see that your basic um your basic session starts up with uh, sequence one track one and program one blank um, and i want to point out that here on your q link knobs they do work flawlessly that's been tested and you know, when you're doing a beta, all of this stuff is up for testing. So as I go through and touch my Q links, they are responding on the screen with no lag. It's instant. Also with the pads. All right, pads, no latency. And we put sounds in, you can, you know, experience that even better. All right, we set at 120 up here, four bars and 16 on the time. Over here, your file browser is now on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some sounds on. We got over here, we got your selections of input. You got your drums, you got your, your key groups, your MIDI, your plugins, CV, and clips. We're going to keep it on drums, and I'm going to go over here and select some drums. You got programs, projects, sequences, and samples. We're going to go with samples, and you can break this down and filter it. I'm going to filter by instrument. I'm going to go with a kick. So let's start with a kick. Now, if you turn this little speaker thing on here, you can get autoplay. So as you scroll through your sounds, um, you can hear them automatically on selection. I like to use the arrow keys so I don't have to use the mouse and I can just fly right through it with my arrow keys on my keyboard. All right, so just going up and down. All right, so I'm going to get a kick, I'm gonna drag it on the pad one. So let's take any old kick and drag that over. And when you click back on the instrument that you selected, it'll bring you back to the selection screen, your main selection screen, you can choose another selection. So let's go with a, let's go with a rim. I, I got a rim, I'm just gonna drag that rim over here to pad two. All right, and watch this, we're gonna test this latency. I'm gonna hit my pad. Pad one is a kick, pad two is a rim. No latency. We hate latency and we don't have any here and that's great. All right, so let's go up here. I'm gonna slow this down. We got 120 beats per minute. I can do this with the mouse and cursor and move it. But I like using the hardware. I like to feel the buttons in my hand. And that's the whole purpose of us wanting these uh, hardware devices. So I'm going to use my cursor and my jog wheel. I'm going up here. I'm going to move my cursor down to beats per minute. And my jog wheel, I'm going to turn this down a few clicks. Let's go with 97. And then I'm going to scroll over with my cursor. And with my jog wheel, I'm going to turn this down to two bars. All right, and I got my one or two bar count in, whatever I have on here. Let's do that, and I'm going to tap in this beat real quick. All right, and you'll see it. Up, up on the screen, I'm going to arm this track, I'm going to record, and I'm going to start tapping it in. You'll see it on the screen, just like other previous versions of the software. Two, three, four. All right, so we got 2.4 on the bar. What happened there? Let's play it, see what happened. All right, so it's not playing uh, this first note here. Not sure why. So let's re-record it and see what happens. All right, there we go. All right, so we got a little beat. Now, I don't know if that was something I did or something within the software, but I have had that happen as I've been testing the beta and from time to time, the timing will be off and it'll start a bar late on 
when you tap your beat. Not sure why. Maybe that's a bug. I did report it through the feedback. Make sure you use this little feedback button when you find stuff. All right. Give them feedback because that's what that's for. Click that and then you type it in and submit it to a car. All right. So moving on. Uh, audio tracks. That's what everybody wanted. We got them. So let's go up here. We got a little beat in. I'm going to go off of MIDI and we're not going to put in MIDI input in. We're going to put audio. I'm going to click that. Still on sequence one. Now we on audio track one. And I'm going to go down here to input because I have an XLR mic hooked up to the Renaissance and it's in input one. But we don't want a stereo signal. We want a mono signal because we're only in one mono input. So I'm going into input one. I'm going to click that. And as I go down here, I can arm my track. I can arm it a couple different ways. I can take my mouse and click right here. Boom, on the track. Or on your Q-Links, you'll see up here, Q-Link number 8, 9, 10, 11 is to record arm. So I can go right here, 11, tap that, and you'll see it on the screen. It's going to highlight. And I can simply turn that Q-Link knob to record, and you can see it highlight, and it's ready to record its arm. Let me show it to you on the screen. I'm going to turn it to the right. Now it's back to the left is off, back to the right is on. Now the track, and you'll see over here, the track does on the record. So I should have audio, and you can see my meters are jumping because my mic is on. One, two, one, two. All right, so now we got that working. Let's go ahead and record some audio. I'm going to arm track. Turn track on. We're going to watch the screen as I record this. Three. Four. Yo, one, two, one, two. Yo, one, two, one, two. All right, so we got some audio in there. And, of course, you can see the sample on the screen. Now, of course, I would have turned that down uh, in a real-life scenario. But uh, for tutorial purposes, I left the music on. I would put headphones on, of course, and listen to metronome and all that stuff. But let's see what it sounds like. Yo, one, two, one, two. Now, you can see or hear that the timing is off a little bit. So, I got to experiment some more and see if that's something that uh, is a bug in the software. Of course, this is a beta. We're testing it to see uh, what needs to be fixed. That's what we're doing this for. But um, maybe it's a setting that I need to change. I need to find that out. But it does record the audio. One, two, one, two. So, from here, one, two, one, two. it works. Audio tracks work with the Renaissance. Um, so there you have it. Leave comments. Peace.